Hi, today I'm going to be reading from Whale Talk by Chris Crutcher. It's one of the top banned and challenged books in the YA category that includes diverse content. It's been banned and challenged for racism and offensive language and was removed from five school libraries in the Limestone County, Alabama system. This is an excerpt from Whale Talk by Chris Crutcher. The truly unique thing about me isn't my racial heritage, or my brain, or my size, or my athletic abilities. Mama Glenda didn't leave me with much to remember her by, but she certainly left me with the all-time moniker. A lot of kids whose parents grew up in the hippie generation have names like Autumn, or Somber, or Twilight, or Destiny. Who knows what their parents were smoking to name them after seasons or moods or times of day. But good old Glenda went them one better, naming me in her spiritual period. She may have been a little too spiritual on mood altering fun stuff to imagine my first day in kindergarten. Tell everyone your first name when your turn comes, Miss Herrick said, nodding to the pencil necked toe, toe headed kid next to me. The kid said, Roger. I said, the. Excuse me? The? She should have said, tell everyone what people call you. The other kids giggled. My fists clenched, blood rushing to my head. Miss Herrick said, do you have a middle name? Dow. I said, pronouncing it correctly as Dow. Your name is the Dow? What kind of name is that? I shrugged. Mine. To her credit, Ms. Herrick glanced at her class roster to see if I was telling the truth and moved on. But as you might guess, that wasn't the end of it. It's a book, I told Sue Eldridge and Ronnie Blackburn later, my back against the jackets hanging on hooks at the rear of the room. I was as yet unaware. It is also an entire philosophy. Why did your mother give you the same name as a book? Sue asked. Just did. I wanted to explain that my real mother, Abby, didn't do that. That it was my bio mother. But I hadn't been real successful articulating that in the past. Ronnie laughed and turned to the rest of the class who were pulling on their coats for recess. His mom gave him the same name as a book, he yelled to them. Then a light clicked above his head. Hey, he said, me too. My mom gave me the same name as a book too. I'm curious, George. He squealed in delight, falling to the floor between giggles, scratching under his arms like an ape. Suddenly, he was struggling to push my knee off his chest. Stop, Miss Herrick yelled, but I punched Ronnie Blackburn in the nose anyway. It was the beginning of a series of unplanned three-day vacations that would dot my educational career like chicken pox. But there's worse news about my handle, and if you've been paying attention, you know what it is. My health dictates the health of the nation's economy. How's your son doing, Mr. Jones? Oh, the Dow's up today, sir. Oh, that's good news. Try to keep him happy. Think I don't get carried away with those? To avoid confusion and raucous laughter whenever my name is mentioned, I'm called TJ. Thank you.